So I've made a few modifications to my Falcon to set it up for the Tyrannus radio I bought at the show last week. So I've put a white X4R receiver in it, which until the other day I thought was the S-Bus version. It, but it turned out it's just the PPM version. Um, however, this isn't like a highly tuned racing quad, so I doubt I'll notice the extra difference using the, the extra latency using PPM. And it also means it frees up a serial port. Um, because even though the SP Racing Flight Controller has the free serial ports, UART1 is shared with the USB connection when you, you have Clean Flight connected. And the OSD by default was connected to that port, which mean, meant that when it was powered on, you couldn't calibrate motors and things, or set minimum throttle. So I switched that to UART2. So I've only really got the one serial port free, which I I'm using for the smart port telemetry from the receiver instead. Um, so, so to set that the telemetry up, you just have to connect the S pin from the receiver to the TX port on the on the on the uh, the flight controller on UART three. Um, I, I actually modified a cable and connected it, split the cable and connected it into the TX and RX ports, based on one of Painless Three Sixties videos. Um, although I can't say I, I had any problems getting it working with the TX on its own. Um, so I'd probably just try that first and then if, if that was not working for you then, then connect it to both instead. Um, once you've set that up, I, I found the telemetry with you, so in, in CleanFly you have to make a few settings. So you go to the, the serial port page and just enable smart port for the for UART3 um, in my case. Uh, on the setup page you enable telemetry and then just make sure that telemetry inversion is set to on in the, the CLI. Um, then you'll, you might find that the telemetry isn't working straight away but you, you have to disconnect clean flight and arm the quad and then if you go to discover sensors on the telemetry page Then you'll see them then we'll start to show up and it's the vfas is the one the voltage of the battery so uh, you basically just then set the voltage range uh, source to the vfas and it shows up on the the main menu and you can also set up um, alerts audible alerts when the voltage drops below your certain limits so I set up two logical switches for low voltage and critical voltage with a it has to be below it has to have that that voltage for five seconds or one second before it will trigger the alert the alert and then you set those logical switches up to play soundtracks um yeah and that that's quite nice so the other thing i did was was set up the rssi um so that's getting sent so that's now displaying on the OSD, uh, and this was mainly set up on the on the, uh, the the receiver based on a a tip that DOS gave me, um, which is he's just created a new child by the way. So go and check it out; it's cool. Um, so the the way you set this up is once you've discovered sensors, the RSSI sensor starts showing up, and you can then go to the inputs. And you'll have an option for the RSSI as an input source. And you just have to turn the, the scale to 100 dB, the scale it between 0 and 100. And then you go to the mixer and select a spare channel, which is channel 8 in my case. I'm using all 8 ppm channels. Um, and <clears throat> Then you just set the weight to 200 and the offset to minus 100 and that translates it from a 1 to a 1000 to 2000 signal on the flight controller. And then in clean flight you just select the channel the, the like you like for the RSSI feed, so channel 8. Um, it's really nice and, to, and reassuring to have the, the, uh, the, the, the reception reading on the OSD. Um, yeah, I was able to get like 400 meters out today and, and, and saw it was still had a high signal strength. So, 
yeah, I was. Uh, it's very reassuring flying with that. Um, I've also put some mounts from the walk here with the 250 for the X4R's receiver cables, which is, is by the perfect length and and orientation. I was getting brilliant reception with this. Um, I've also been, been using my new FPV antennas, which is adaptive, is adaptive antenna. Not this one, obviously, this is a crappy immersion RC Fat Shark one that's broken. Um, I'm going to use my other Raptor on the new but alien build I'm making. Um, but yeah, just on the, the receiver, I've got the, the Furious FPV diversity module and the, uh, the, the patch antenna with the Raptor. And even just the 200 milliwatt receiver and uh, transmitter in this, it was, I was getting the, the best thing I ever had at the far side of the field today. So that's, uh, that's all good as well. So uh, the final thing I've done is remove the um, the, the the motor angle mounts so I can enable the angle mode on this now and it works okay. Uh, whereas when it was angled 10 degrees it was always going forward and basically made it impossible to land. So that's a lot better I think. I'd, I'd recommend doing that mod. Um, okay, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching.